Hello and welcome to the third session of Simply Learn's e-learning course on Six Sigma Green Belt Training. In this session, we will be discussing management and planning tools. Session 3 is divided into three lessons. Lesson 3, Lesson 4 and Lesson 5. We have already discussed Lesson 1 and Lesson 2 in Session 2. So let's move forward and have a look at the agenda for Lesson 3. Agenda In Lesson 3, we begin by introducing the Define Phase 2, discuss various team tools and management and planning tools. In Lesson 3, we will look at the various management and planning tools which include affinity diagrams, interrelationship diagrams and so on. As we begin the fourth lesson, we would learn about the finer aspects of business results for projects. We will look at the various process performance metrics like the defect per unit or DPU, the rolled throughput yield, cost of poor quality, defects per million opportunities or DPMO and the process capabilities indices. As we proceed, we will look at the failure mode and effective analysis FMEA, and the risk priority number which is also known as RPN. Finally, in Lesson 5, we will look at the team dynamics and performances. We shall discuss the team stages, their roles and responsibilities, the tools used and the communication techniques adopted in the process. The various team tools that are used are brainstorming, nominal group technique and multi-voting. The ASQ CSSGB body of knowledge specifies that the team tools are part of the team dynamics and performance. We will discuss them in advance because we will come across them in various team tools. In the next slide, we will learn the concept of multi-voting. Team tools, multi-voting. Multi-voting is a decision-making tool used in Six Sigma to arrange and enlist a long list of items to a considerably smaller or manageable number. In simple words, a team meets and votes. Multivoting works best when you have a large number of ideas and you wish to arrive at a group consensus on which idea is the best. Let's look at the steps involved in multivoting. We start by generating a list of items and number each one of them for identifying